Hi folks and welcome to something a little bit different today. Um, as you'll know, because I haven't stopped going on about it for the last couple of weeks, today when this video comes out is World Autism Day on April the 2nd, 2018. We asked you a couple of weeks ago what video you would like to see from us to mark World Autism Day. We gave you two choices. We had one called Different Is Not Broken, which is all about celebrating the positives of people with autism. And then the other one was Andy's Story. And it was a fairly emphatic result that the vast majority of you wanted to see Andy's story. Now, it's quite difficult for us to put together Andy's story in video form mm -hmm. because all we've really got is sporadic Facebook photos from the last 10 years or so. There's maybe one or two little video clips that really, they're, they're just, they're not really usable. I don't think we're going to include them in this video. Future Kev might slot them in somewhere. It's really raining heavily and there's something on my glasses. There's a big smudge mark of rain on my glasses. Um, If you did want, like, off topic, I do have baby pictures, like baby as he was born pictures. Well, we'll perhaps dig out some baby pictures at some point. But we've basically gone through the pictures that we had on Facebook and I'm going to present to you Andy's pre-vlog, pre-Kev photo Facebook fat file thing, lots of S, I like that, oh that's very catchy, um, which is basically, I've gone through 10 years worth of Facebook pictures, picked out the 12 that I found most interesting, that I want to ask Anna about, we'll have a look at them together and she can tell us about these photographs, that will make sense doesn't it, that seems reasonable, yeah, so, I don't know why you picked this one, well I've picked this one, for a couple of reasons, okay. firstly, how old do you reckon he is in that picture? Three? Okay, so he's got blonde hair. When did he stop having blonde hair? Because he's not got blonde hair now. Yeah, he had blonde hair. Uh, for how long? I don't know, so he's about six, seven. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the sunglasses, I assume, aren't his? No, <laughs> they are definitely mine. Did he have them on for long? Because sunglasses no, is like... something we've talked about getting him to wear. And I don't think he'd keep them on. It was for the picture. That okay. Was it. Um, and obviously we have the dummy in as well. The dummy is going to be a recurring theme throughout this and I'll, I will be asking you about the dummy um, at some point. But the bane of my life, they were. <laughs> I think this is the oldest picture that I found on your Facebook. Right. That's the other reason I picked this one. So if he was like two or three on this one, we're talking, what, 2006? So I think these are the oldest pictures. There was a bit of a gap on your Facebook where they were quite regular pictures from 2009 onwards, which I guess is when you got Facebook. But then there's a folder called Andy 2006 that this which was I in. Think, uh, from so, somewhere else. Yeah, so these must have been off an old memory card or something maybe. Um, we have we have another one of him there just looking directly into the camera with the dummy. So I guess this I mean this might have even this been was the same pre day. This was pre uh diagnosis so at this point did you suspect that did you know what autism is when he was when no, this photo was taken it was just that this was a different day because that's at my mom's house um, okay but yeah. there was nothing there was no reason to suspect no, he, he, that there might be anything what would I, why would i be looking for it you know what i mean no i know i know it was just normal for to me yeah it was normal was me. he talking at this point Babbling, but not, not okay. even coherent. So he's like two or three years old, mm -hmm. not really talking yet. Obviously, still got that. I mean, <laughs> still having a dummy at two or three years old isn't that unusual. Lucy still had a dummy until she was probably four or five. Yeah. Um, so I don't think that's particularly unusual. But, but at this point, it it'd have to be them ones. What that exact dummy? Yeah, and they were from Wil Wilkinson's, and I used to have to go there at least what every two weeks to get new ones Why? and then they because that's the only place because he would chew through them okay because he would have teeth at that time and so he's using them as like chewy toys yeah so he? like he does now he's okay. got chewies he would chew through them so what would happen if you went to sainsbury's and got a different brand of dummy what you He'd just refused to have yeah. them interesting <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really no that is not knowing at the time what autism is not knowing he mm. had it i don't i don't know I don't know if I'd have stood for it if I'd have been around at the time. But it's I like think the I'd bottles just... when I moved in. Yeah, but then at that time we knew he was autistic. Yeah. So that was that was the reason why we allowed. <laughs> what what Anna's talking about is um, he was still drinking milk out of a bottle when mm -hmm. they first moved in. When Andy was what seven or eight, so he would yeah. still drink milk out of a baby's bottle. Um, Normal that, milk. Yeah, normal whole milk, but out of a baby's bottle. But it had to be a particular bottle with a particular teat. 
Um, and then over the course of a week or two, he'd bite through that and it would start to flow faster and faster until he just bit the end off completely. And there was one moment when, um, not long after he'd moved in, when I had to drive around all the local shops trying to find this particular bottle and particular tea. Couldn't find one anywhere. <laughs> we checked him with Sheepdog because yeah. he had a, I think it would have been probably his middle kid was still a baby at that Possibly. point um, or had not long been born uh, so we asked him if he had one and he gave us a bottle but again it wasn't the right bottle and um, it wasn't long after that that he just stopped drinking milk yeah. because we just couldn't find the right bottle for him because we weren't in Nottingham anymore we couldn't go to that shop <laughs> now this picture again we have the dummy a pacifier by the way if you're in America and you don't know what we're talking about when we're saying dummy yes yeah, so these pacifier. are different ones these, well no, I think they're the same ones, but it's a white one this time. But from the same brand. Yeah. Um, the reason I picked this picture is because I have known Andy for <laughs> six years now, and I have never seen that kid wear a jumper. How no. often? No, he he won't wear anything. Brown one. Well, no, he, no, he he's doesn't got the wear brown, jumpers. But he won't put it on. Yeah, I've never seen him wear a jumper. It's um, is this was this a one-off or this did was, he used to wear jumpers? Yeah, this was again before diagnosis. This was Christmas. Okay. Uh, he's got two p. He's got one of them machines there. What's that? That's a two p coin dozer thing. Yep. Okay. And he has a t-shirt on with a Thomas stuff on. He also looks like he's got around his ears a little shaved. I don't. It looks like he's got tram lines almost. Um, I don't think so. Where he's actually had a proper neatly cut haircut. Oh, he, he did not, not get normal cut. So when did he stop having his haircut? But when it was hard to take. So that was that at the hairdressers. Yeah. Did you have to like hold him down to have it done? I, or I just it? have to hold, but he was small. But so he I would. Could hold so him. would he try and resist, or would he? A little bit, but like any normal kid would. He didn't like it, but he would. He used to have it on with scissors. Okay, but then as he's got older, he's he been able to fight cut. more, <laughs> yeah. and now it's a case of once a year we shave it all off, and then it spends a year growing back again. Fair enough. Which he is due any time now. He's due his annual haircut. Um, but did he wear jumpers much after this? A few times did he grow out of it. It wasn't, it wasn't but it was, really so it was this jumper. So I think it was Thomas and okay. it was, I don't know, comfortable. It's got a face on as well by the looks yeah. of it, which is interesting but to see how... But he's not looking at the, it. Yeah, to see how the things that bother him now weren't necessarily mm. bothering him then. I've got to ask about his hair in this one because <laughs> his hair is it? spiked up. <laughs> it looks like you've actually styled his hair, yes. which again, that just seems completely unthinkable to me that he would let you spike up or he style his hair. Let me. Because he doesn't let people touch his head at no, all, does he? Till about five years old. After that, he would, every time I'd do it, he would flatten it. But at then, it was fine. <laughs> what is that shirt he's wearing? Is that an American football shirt or a hockey shirt? I think something? so. Well, it was just from Adams, the, oh, okay. the kids shop. That's now no longer available. Thank you, don't. Love that top. But the hair is, <laughs> the hair is interesting. <laughs> what were you thinking? From letting it go down at the front, but up at the back? I didn't style it. Oh, okay. <laughs> This Aww. is the famous picture. We've talked about this picture a few times before um, because you're pretty sure this was the last time he ate meat. Mm -hmm. So how old is he in this picture? 18 months. 18 months old and it's spaghetti bolognese. Mm -hmm. Made from scratch. Did you take the picture because it was so unusual that he was eating meat? No, or? it was all around his mouth. <laughs> so it was just because he's a mess. It's a typical yeah. kids had a messy dinner, I'm going to take a picture because it's a funny picture thing. But then, what happened the next time you tried to give him spaghetti bolognese? I don't even know. I've looked at it many times. Um, I don't know. Just gave it and didn't eat it. Before I didn't like it. Though at this one, he did get the spaghetti in his mouth and then through his nose. <laughs> I missed six so I take a picture but yeah you know just one time I made it he got like this mm. and then he didn't eat it after that there have been a few moments over the years where he's just done something completely untypical out of character mm -hmm. and only done it once mm -hmm. and never gone I'm trying to think of other examples I know we've talked about this before when we've seen examples of stuff like that happening I mean haircut is another one probably <laughs> because he's <laughs> that his most time. yeah that what he's had one haircut where he just cooperated and it was fine um but I didn't I, I know I said I'm setting up the cry cam for you I didn't actually it's just like thinking about it and the way you asked it it's like yeah 
just never did again. Okay. <laughs> we have hair again. Spiky, spiky hair. Now, I've picked this one out. I'm guessing this is Skegness. No, this is... Cleethorpes. Cleethorpes? Yeah, Goodness so he, he was at school and in the summer he would go to summer school for like a week or so in, in the six weeks holidays and one day they said they were going to the seaside and would I like to come and accompany him so I could have my time with him and they could have because the children they were with were severely disabled like hmm. food food feeding and stuff so I'm fine there we are so we went they said oh you can go out for an hour in the arcades that's what mm. i did for an hour this the the, the, the re i just assumed it was skegness i didn't realize <laughs> it was somewhere else but i picked it because there's two things in there that look oh so familiar to me bearing in mind how old do you reckon he is here like five maybe four or five four or yeah. five um so i didn't meet him for another couple of years after this but I know any trip we've ever had to the seaside has involved those 2P <laughs> machines. He absolutely loves them. He always has. But also that blue push chair, mm. that, he was still using that until three years ago, here. maybe, yeah. three or four years ago. Um, it, was, uh, it wasn't like a normal push chair, no, was it? it was a McLaren extra big chair. It was a push chair designed for children with disabilities of some kind. Yeah. Um, as, and I needed one. Yeah, as an alternative to having a full-on wheelchair, um, it was a bigger, sturdier pushchair. That it wasn't because he wasn't capable of walking around. It was more to get him to cooperate. Even I need to go shopping. Yeah, basically. If you were living on your own, mm. so if you needed to nip to Sainsbury's or wherever it would have been, and he wouldn't go, you didn't have a car. It would be a case of put him in that, strap him in, and then you could get around the shops. Mm -hmm. Now this one I picked because initially I thought it was school, but you had a quick look before and told me this wasn't at school. Right, so th these children behind him, there's, um, I think there was eight of them and they were called the special eight because they all had issues. So is this from school? Yeah, right, okay. so they... Uh, and this is when he was still in mainstream school? Yeah, this was okay. mainstream school. So he would have a TA for himself, but the, on a Wednesday, the special eight, because these were all different uh, ages, would go out and this is at the windmill making bread. Okay. So that's what he's doing. Awesome. How did you feel about How did they even broach putting him in the special eight? Well, had he been diagnosed at this yeah. point? Yeah. Okay, so... He didn't have a statement. But from, because he went to Busy Bees that was just adjacent to the to the school and they said, oh, he may have uh, some issues. And then that, that was the process of getting him diagnosed. And it took a while for the statement to come through because they take years. Okay. But yeah, he was. <laughs> now, <laughs> there were so, so many pictures of him falling asleep with a dummy and a nappy that I could have picked. There was dozens of them on your Facebook. Um, I just picked one specifically because I wanted to ask about nappies <sighs> or diapers again for our, for our American <laughs> friends um, because it's something we've been asked before about toilet training and how long was he in nappies for. So how old is he here, roughly? Five. And he's still in nappies there. Mm -hmm. When did he come out of nappies? Was he in nappies when I met you? No. So it would have been the summer before I met you that so he came out. So that would have been so six or seven. I think he was seven, seven just turning eight when we met. Right. Um, so that means he would have been. It was the summer he turned seven. He came out of nappies. Um, how on earth did you manage that? So he he would never go to the toilet ever, and then it turned into smearing. Um, that was a delightful present <laughs> and um the the i was buying them from the normal shop but he was getting too big so i had to have them specially delivered what's the company in the brown vans no idea in america they have the brown vans king and queen ups yeah so i would have ups bringing okay. my <laughs> my nappies and for ages the school was like well, we're going to probably change i was like no he's not ready and they tried it and he, no, there was not not a chance. And I was like, just leave him alone. I will we'll try again. And then it got to the summer holidays and I just took him off him. So he was in a mainstream school classroom, but mm. wearing nappies. Yep. Okay. Um, what, you just took yep. him and? I did it at home, in my own time, in his safe space, 
Mm. I just took my thing. I had a potty. I have three potties around. I was like, use the, like because he he would understand me. Mm. So I was like, if you want to wee wee or poo poo, do it in there. And I and if he was just standing and do it, I'd put the potty under him. Mm-hmm. And then we got to the stage right now where he knows what to do, but he chooses not to sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is in your old flat. Yeah. Um, that's your old PC. The one is that yeah. the one that blew up. Yeah. Um, I picked this one because one of my first memories of first memories of Andy and one of the, my first observations about him was, goodness me, that boy likes to be naked a lot. Yeah. Um, and certainly from this age, six or seven again. Mm. Almost all the pictures you've got on Facebook, he's either got his trousers off or his top off or both. Yep, but we were at home. It didn't. I asked. I asked the health officer, and the doctor's like, "Can he? Am I allowed to do that?" Yep. It's in your own own home. You can do what you want. So I did. He um, didn't like clothes. Did no. He just... Well, even when, I mean, he, even now he doesn't really like clothes. When he goes up to his bedroom, he takes his clothes off on the landing. Mm-hmm. As he gets to the top of the stairs, his tops coming off. Next step, trousers are coming down. Mm-hmm. He leaves his clothes on his landing. He won't have the clothes in his bedroom with no. him. There are no clothes in his bedroom at all. He won't get dressed in there. Um, clothes are something that don't go into his safe space. He just doesn't like them at all. H- had he started wearing clothes around the house when we met, or was that a special treat for me that you'd started putting no, your like clothes? No, like he had got a bit better about it. He, if I told him to keep them on, he would. So if they, obviously if there were people around and stuff, then he would have them on. But if it was just me and him, but that was his area. So in in a few years later, TV was there. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I picked this one purely because that thing that he's playing on, it's, it's a little pinball machine, somewhere. isn't it? Um, yeah, that, that came here. <laughs> that thing, he loved this thing so much that he still had that about a year ago. Um, it's, it was in the garage, it might have actually been chucked away oh. when we cleared the garage out. You were involved in that process, uh, but I think it was chucked away earlier this year. But that's how long that thing survived for. He must have had it for eight years. <laughs> Loved that thing. Is that your mum's house? Yeah, so we've got like a dog and a pram and his dummy and his nappy just... That's Andy, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no makeup day. <laughs> you got very red hair there. Yes, I have very red hair. I picked this one mainly because she always tells me it's her fault. It's my fault that she's got a double chin. And I was just pointing out that, well, hang about, um, this is before you ever met me, but this is on the big wheel in Nottingham. Mm, which the, 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 trans, the, the one that moves. Yeah, we, we featured this on the vlog last year. He went on it once, didn't he? Mm. Because But back then, you were living in Nottingham. How many times do you reckon you went on the wheel that summer? So... It's there for about three months and I probably went on it every week. Every, only every week? Every weekend. <laughs> he likes a big wheel, does he? Yes, he does. <laughs> and there he is again on the big wheel from a different angle. <laughs> Completely bald. Because mm, that's when I started doing it by myself. And So how old is he here? Six. Maybe. Okay. It's hard to, to yeah. age him. <laughs> he he suddenly looks a lot older here. Well, and his ears are older. Yeah, it's, this is clearly a haircut that a battle was a part yeah. of because it it looks like a prison haircut. Yeah. Where it was he's basically, had it shaved off, but he wasn't cooperating. No, with he it. would sit in front of the TV um, with play because he wouldn't. He wasn't allowed to play on my PlayStation, <laughs> so that was mine. Um, but on these times, he would let, he'd be allowed to play. He would play Madden. The American okay, football yeah. game, and he would let me cut my hair. It would take ages, um, but it happened. I did have the police knock on my door once. Why? For screaming. Wow. Who reported you for, scre- the for screaming? The man underneath. Lovely. So the police came around and goes, oh, We've had a report for screaming, and I was like, Right, it's my child. Um, oh, is he alright? Yeah, I was giving him a haircut. I, I, I they, they were brought upstairs. I was like, Look, I've got hair everywhere. Yeah. I'm covering here. He doesn't like haircut, and then they left. Wow. But yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think that's that. So that was 
the story of Andy, because I I met him the year after this, so this is this takes us all the way up to just before I met him. And um, the reason we haven't gone further right now is because goodness me, since you've lived here, is your Facebook a mess? No, no, it was all in neat folders <laughs> up until this point, and then I looked onto the stuff that started from 2012, and it's one folder called it's, Mobile Pictures yes. with over a thousand pictures in it. And that's your it. fault. Why? Because you made me get a good phone that I could just transfer instantly so I don't have to go on my PC and put it in folders. What we'll do at some point is a part two of this where we'll do the, the post Kev but pre-vlog story of Andy. <laughs> so I mean the, the vlog didn't start until he'd been here over four years so there's quite a lot that happened in that time and we can we can include some of those pictures and there'll be a few little video clips we can include in that one as well um, but if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there we've deliberately done this and put it out today because we want to raise autism awareness it's one of the main things we like to do here on the channel and uh, i think just by telling some of these stories prompted by some of these old pictures mm -hmm. of the highs and the lows of the seven or eight years six or seven years i still forget how many it was before i came along <laughs> of effectively being a single parent of a kid with autism and i think it's it's a story that needed telling and um hopefully you enjoyed it so leave a nice thumbs up on there for us uh, subscribe for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching